Radio. How are you doing, everybody? My name is Poetic J. I'm here with the one and only, the voice of the Gumbo Show, the powerhouse of Hits 92.3, Ashley Stacey. I'm joking. More Ash, of course, of the Gumbo Show. Can't forget that. Hey, Poetic, what's up? You're oh, funny. Yeah. It feels weird being over here. Doesn't but what's it? up? Yeah, I'm supposed to be like, hey, what's up, y'all? But it's cool. You want to do it for I, the one time? No, we don't have to do it like that. <laughs> it's cool. It's just different being on the other side. But go for it. What's up? Now, Ash, I've been around for a long time. Mm-hmm. And that's saying something because I'm real young. Okay. So I got to know that you got all of these things going on. You got your personal life. I'm not going to drop out there. I'm not going to do you like I did Naja. Oh, oh, okay. But... You're juggling this business. Mm-hmm. You're on the radio each and every week. You're streaming. Mm-hmm. You're traveling to, you know, your hometown. Yeah, everybody knows you're from St. Louis. St. Louis, check in. Yeah. Traveling hometown, you know, not too long ago, I actually just saw it in my, uh, my Snap history. We just came back from Louisiana. Louisiana, I'm right. Mm-hmm. Just came back from Louisiana. I know you got trips upcoming that I don't even know about yet. Probably. I know you got all these partnerships and brands and everything that you're out here expanding. Why are you telling my business, Poetic? What you want? I'm telling your business because you got a story to tell, and I don't think you're yelling it loud enough. Okay. I don't What's see you question? on these rooftops up here. I'm humble. What's your question, though? Stay humble. My question is, what inspires you to do what you do? That's a great question. Um, so what inspires me to do what I do is not having shit. So, you know, it become a time and a place where you come a certain age and you start to, whether people admit it or not, look at your life, maybe compare to other people that you may know or may have known that, you know, you may have went to school with or that just may have been friends in your life or whatever the case may be. As much as people don't like to admit that they, you know, may compare themselves or may compare where they're at in a certain period of their lives to other people, it's, they, they do, you know what I mean? So I feel like for myself, um, I went through so much like hardship and I went through so much loss and I went through so much of just not having shit to where it put me into a mind state of like, I'm not gonna stop now until I get it. So, you know, working seven days a week, um, doing radio, doing podcasts, working with an independent team, you know, I didn't, people look at me and they're like, oh, you know, somebody made a comment to me the other day, like, I'm trying to get like you. I'm trying to get my own DJ that worked for the Hawks and get my own film crew. But it's like, bro, like we built this from the ground. Like I didn't know Ali. I went looking for somebody and I found Ali, you know? So it's like, if you put your mind to something and you're looking for something specific, you'll find it, you know what I mean? And it's just about finding what works for you and who works for you, you know what I mean? Because everybody ain't for everybody and that's real, you know? Um, But more than anything, it just comes from like being at a certain age and feeling behind, like feeling like if I would have applied myself this much earlier, I would be so much farther ahead. Feeling like, at this age, I should probably be able to provide more for my children or I should probably be able to do more for myself or, you know what I mean? So just kind of having those thoughts and kind of living that in real life, um, it kind of will motivate you or it will break you. So I chose to be motivated. I chose to get up every day, no matter what it takes, grind it out, hustle through the tears, through the sweat, through not having shit, not having gas, not having whatever it is, basic necessities that people feel like you should have sometimes. You know what I mean? Going through all those hardships, you know, is what kind of keeps me going. And then when you kind of stop and take a second to see everything from the other end and kind of see what you created and see how far it went. You give so much back to the community that I don't even think goes acknowledged Mm -hmm. i know personally being here a lot a lot of this comes out of your pocket paying your staff making sure everybody that wants to perform gets a chance to no matter if it's a time limit no matter where we're at whether it's american whether it's here whether we're doing a food market i don't think you get your flowers enough so i really want to make sure you got your flowers because ash goes back and if you're an artist if you're an independent artist and you're about your grind This is who you want to be in contact with. You want to be in contact with Gumbo, the Gumbo Show. You want to be in contact with the Gumbo Network. You want to be in contact with Mr. Ali Brothaway, who's right here behind the camera as well. It's not even about the plug-in at this point. And then, you know what, like, to stop you in your tracks, because, like, what you just said, it isn't, though. It's not really even for me. Like, a lot of what I do is because... I see potential in other people. So it's like, I feel like, and that's probably, like, part of, like, when I be going off on y'all in the chat, I be going off on them in the chat. We yeah, have a whole group chat. It's like 30 of them, and I be Get going it off. together. Um, but when I be going off on y'all, it's because I be feeling like that y'all not applying what I'm giving y'all hard enough. So, like, for instance, 
It cost me over two grand to publish a book on, on people. Yeah. Okay? So, like, every chapter is about somebody. That's 20 people that's in a book that ain't selling right now. That motherfucker sitting on Amazon, it ain't doing shit. So, in my mind, it's like, for me to put in that much money and that much time, like, how much time it took me to write that book, I feel like people should still be, don't forget, more bars with more ashes out there, purchase it on all platforms, like, you know what I'm saying? But we, you don't get that, you know what I'm saying? And it ain't just one person, it's just a collective. Like, I feel like, so... That's kind of like, for me, what made me take a pause on everything that I had been doing and kind of reevaluate things to try to figure out what direction to go. Because it's like, when you putting money out and you paying to do stuff and to get stuff done and to promote people and to put their talent out, like, this ain't my talent, this y'all talent, and I'm paying to put it out. Then it's like, I would expect a little bit more effort. You know what I mean? To say Absolutely. the least. So it's like, that's kind of, I think, more than anything, the biggest frustration that comes from most of it is just like, people not seeing the potential of what we are doing and not pushing it as hard as they could because with as many people, artists that we have under our network right now that's been rocking out with Gumbo for what, over two years now? We we as a whole, Gumbo, should be way farther just from everybody independently pushing not only themselves but each other. That was the whole purpose of the group chat, for everybody to push each other. But sometimes the ultimate vision, I feel like people fail to see it, so you have to stop, you have to regroup and reset and then come back. So that's what I chose to do. I personally don't know where that's going. I look forward to finding out, though, for anybody at home that may want to connect with you, that may want to connect with the brand, that may want to sponsor the brand, talk to the brand, got to do what they got to do with the brand. Where can we find you at? So if they want to work with the brand, sponsor the brand, talk to the brand, the first thing they need to do is check out the website and know who the brand is. Absolutely. So you can find us at www.thegumboshowpodcast.com. Please take time to take a look at our website to learn who our team is, to see what we do. Know us by name before you reach out and want to be a part of what we're doing. And it's not being rude. It's just know what you want, know what you're getting into. You should at least know who the staff is before you inquire about being a part of the show. So that's all I ask. Do your research. Find out who we are, what we do, the quality of our content, the quality of our work, and then you'll understand where the prices come in. Because we did a, oh, we, our prices went up. I believe it. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was expecting so I just want to let you know. I just want to let everybody know. I was anticipating it. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, as long as you was anticipating it, then we on track. You know what Doing I mean? That means we much. late. We was late to the party. You know what I mean? But it's Doing all good. But y'all can much. find me. Y'all can connect with me on Instagram. It's probably the best way. I'm at one underscore more underscore ash or the underscore gumbo show. Or you can email us at gumbo radio show at gmail. Make sure you tune in because you do not want to miss what comes next. I assure you that. As always, it's Poetic J. You're the gumbo show. More ass, y'all. Signing out. Let Poetic J do some work. Bye. 